Chris, we're starting off with Ball State today. All right. All right, let's jump in. Mike New went 4-8, 2-10, and 4-8 and in his first three years. Went 4-8 and eight last year, 3-5 and five in the MAC. They returned nine offensive starters, nine defensive starters. They got 18 guys back, but they lose quarterback Riley Neal. This is basically the put-up-or-shut-up year, right? Only two underclassmen are projected starters. So they got experience across the board. The first seven games, the defense only gave up 23.9 points per game. Injuries hit them like crazy. The last five games last year, they gave up 44.4 points per game. Quarterback Drew Plitt, he replaces Neal, started several games the last couple of years. He passed for over 1,000 yards. Ball State looks like they should be good, right? Okay. So 4-8, and 2-10, and 4-8. and eight. Keep that in your mind. I have got this team at 4-8 and eight and 3-5 and five again. Okay. They should be better than that. But, man, this is a difficult schedule. It's a difficult schedule. I don't have them even going that. I, I think 3-9, and nine, it wouldn't shock me if they were 2-10. and ten. I mean, you would think with, with 18 starters back, we should be giving but, them more credit. But, but we, we've had the conversation before where if you're not really good, sometimes you need fresh blood coming back. Yeah. You need to change those starters out. You need somebody else to take a chance, and maybe you can block a little better. Maybe the next guy can run a little faster. Maybe the next guy can get open more, you know, catch the ball, make a tackle. I don't know. Hey, you know what? I lied. Just kind of the way I've always I, felt. I miscalculated. I've got them at five and seven. Holy cow. I've got them We're, five this and seven. Might be the, this might be the biggest discrepancy we've got on any game so far. So I'm I'm five and seven. What are you again? Three and nine, two Three and ten. And, okay. That's Okay. I've like, been I'm, wrong I'm, before. I'm, I'm five and seven, not, four I'm and four. A, I'm not above being wrong. Here's I've, I've got them losing to Indiana, losing to Florida Atlantic, Lane Kiffin's bunch. I've got them losing at NC State, at Northern Illinois, at Eastern Michigan, Ohio, and at Western Michigan. But so I've give, got me, them, give me the wins. I've got them beating Miami of Ohio, at Kent State, Central Michigan, Toledo, and Fordham. See, I just I think Miami of Ohio, I think Toledo are just substantially better. Toledo always does this though like uh, jason candle for and we'll get into toledo here in a little bit like that team was supposed to be really good last year and they always it, they don't do what they're supposed to do right the offense is fantastic the defense is terrible it's right. been the same thing since matt campbell left uh i like what toledo does and we'll get into them but i think ball's taking i that see game. i see toledo like i don't have toledo having this gangbuster season either but the difference is i think they lose to some of these better teams i don't think they're losing to some of the the lower end i think the the separation of the haves and the have-nots in the mac is one of the bigger separations in all the conferences i, I could, that, I it's, could my, it's just my opinion I, I think the teams that i think are good are are pretty good yeah to real good and i think the teams that are bad are are really bad and they have a long way to go to, to close that gap. Yeah. No, I can believe that. Not above being that. wrong. If they win five games, that'd be awesome. So that'd be that'd be great. So five and seven for me, four and four in conference. And save the coaching staff, they win five games. I don't think there's any reason to make a move, but it, it is I mean it's put up or shut up, right? I they, mean if they win two or three games, that lose that changes things, right? Yeah, if you if you win two or three games, gone. it gone. Yeah. But you win five games Difficult you're schedule. One, you're, a game, you're a game better than last yeah, year, you, and the schedule's tough. You beat some teams you're not supposed to, like Toledo well, or they're going to have to beat some teams you're not supposed to. I That's, mean, they're going to be substantial underdogs in those games. Yeah. Now, the, the deal now, with that, the that, Toledo that game. That not mean you can't win those games. Like, we I, talk about that all the time. They they play at home September 14th against Florida Atlantic. Then they play at NC State by week at Northern Illinois at Eastern Michigan. The first time back at home in over a month, they play Toledo. Yeah. Like, I think they're going to be fired up for it. I think they can get that one done, especially with all the experience they got. But... Uh, yeah, so Ball State, I got five and seven. Uh, you've got three and nine. Is what it is. Like, there's a big difference in those two games there. 